Thank you to Acer for sponsoring this video. This laptop shouldn't exist. Not one this light, not all day battery life, not one this capable, but here we are. Uh, it's the Aspire 14 AI. You can get it some place I buy my laundry detergent. So when I first saw the specs, saw AI features, Intel's latest chip, a touchscreen, like legit all day battery life, I figured it had to be one of those like starts at $749 traps, that ends up being closer to like $1,500 once you pick up like a reusable version when you'd actually want. Actually, no, uh, this one delivers at that price point. And I think that's what makes it so interesting. So stick around, because the stuff this thing pulls off at its price range is absolutely ridiculous. And another ridiculous thing that I like to do that's near and dear to my heart is to thank you for watching the channel all these years and give you a chance to win $500. Made it super easy. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me the first thing you would do with your brand new Acer laptop. Tell me a fact about yourself, whatever you want. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure there's a way to contact you either in the comment or on your YouTube page if I click on uh, your username. Uh, either way, let it run for 10 days. Open anywhere in the world. All the information you need will be down below. So let's start with design. It's kind of boring, but I think in like a good way, steel gray and aluminum on the outside, a plastic on the keyboard deck, no like flashy extras. This is not trying to impress anyone. I think honestly, that's kind of what I liked about it. Clean, it's modern and it's kind of, I think low key professional. You have no wild logos here, no RGB, just a like sensible looking buttoned up laptop that fits in at like a coffee shop, your office or your kitchen counter without screaming for attention. Uh, I do think it looks a lot more expensive than it is. I think that quiet confidence generally like hits right with this computer. So it's light, um, it just over three pounds. It's also pretty thin too, at just under 17 millimeters. So it kind of disappears in the backpack. Also the hinge opens a full 180 degrees, which is kind of a neat party trick, but also like if you're collaborating and just enjoy laying your laptop out like this to, like show people. So the screen here, I think is totally solid. Uh, it's 14 inches, it's 1920 by 1200, it's touch screen. So that resolution is gonna give you a bit more vertical room than a standard 1080p. Brightness is decent and it is a matte display and a touch screen, which feels like it should not exist. Like if I gave you this laptop, you would never think it was a touch screen, but it works on this whole setup. The matte part is obviously gonna cut down on glare. Obviously you can still kind of poke around at it when you want to. The bezels, uh, there's no way around it. They're not thin bezels, not gonna win any beauty contests. But I think functionality wise, I have no complaints. The only real knock on the display is the colors are not super punchy. So probably not your go-to for like high-end photo work. But for productivity, school, media, or casual creative stuff, I think it's pretty solid. And performance, really good. And again, especially for the price point, the 749 configuration doesn't really skimp. With that price point, you are getting Intel's new Core Ultra 5 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, a full one terabyte SSD, and like plenty of power for research, writing papers, joining video calls, and still enough headroom to sort of stream whatever you want after class. Uh, it boots up fast, it runs smoothly, and it does not in any way feel like a budget machine. If you wanna spend a bit more as a version with a Core Ultra 7, uh, it's about 949 bucks, also uh, at Costco. So this one's got a integrated GPU, which means the graphics obviously built into the processor, so having a separate dedicated graphics card. Things like that save space, improve battery life, and generally helps things run cooler. Also means this is not a gaming rig or a 4K video editing machine. But for everyday tasks like creative work and streaming, absolutely fine. I just want people to go into this knowing what they're getting and know where the strengths of the machine are. So having said all that, this is where I think Acer separated this computer and where it stands out. This thing has an NPU and that stands for Neural Processing Unit. It's basically a little AI co-pilot that handles background tasks without draining your battery. I kind of think of it as like a, I don't know, that one kid in your group project that handles pretty much everything. 
And in this case, those everything is like noise reduction, background blur, or live captioning without making the rest of the laptop break a sweat. And one of the cool things about having Intel's Core Ultra chip here, it lets the laptop handle a lot of that AI stuff on device. Don't need to bounce everything up to the cloud and then back to you, which means it's faster, it's more private, and generally feels more responsive when you're using those features. You've also got Acer Sense, which is basically kind of a single control hub for managing performance, thermals, uh, and even some battery life stuff. And all that AI stuff is really rare at this price point. The NPU is especially rare at this price point. Most laptops that come in, you know, under 800 bucks do not have one yet. And to be clear, this thing will still run all your regular apps like you'd expect. It's classic Intel x86 under the hood. So Chrome, Office, Photoshop, everything just works. No compatibility headaches, no emulation, no worrying about if apps are gonna open. And if you're into laptops, it actually makes sense for real people. Like hit that like button, it does help more than you think. Uh, and since this is sort of a so-called like AI PC, it also comes with Microsoft Copilot built in. And honestly, I was probably like everybody skeptical at first. You've heard so much AI sort of over the past few years. I thought Copilot was generally just like clippy in a hoodie. Uh, but then it wrote a paragraph for me that I spent 20 minutes on in four seconds. And that was helpful. And now I'm paying attention. Uh, and Copilot can do a lot of those things for you that maybe you didn't realize. It can rewrite emails for you. Generally, I write like real angry emails and I gotta like make it nice. It can summarize documents for you, organize spreadsheets, all that boring stuff that eats up time. It's like having a, like a coworker that never takes their lunch breaks. So battery life, I'm pointing at the back like batteries in there, but I imagine it's there. Anytime you see like advertised battery life, in this case, advertised up to 22 hours, no one's gonna hit those numbers unless you're watching like a downloaded video with airplane mode on and brightness all the way down. But still in everyday use, writing, video calls, web browsing, pretending to answer emails, it actually gets through a full work day and then some. Uh, it's not magic, it is just incredibly efficient. This is easy, a full day plus laptop, no matter how you are using it. One thing you are gonna wanna use it for and with uh, is ports, and it's got exactly what you'd hope for. No surprises, no letdowns. Uh, you've got two Thunderbolt 4s on the left side, a couple of USB A's, it's got Wi Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3. This thing is not trying to like reinvent the wheel, it's just giving you what you need and giving you what works. And it's kind of refreshing in a world where laptops sometimes think one USB C port is enough. So, who is this for? I'd say students, remote workers, casual creators, anyone who wants a fast, kind of no-nonsense laptop that lasts all day and is not going to cost you a fortune. This is not a gaming rig. This is not a two-in-one with the stylus. But if you want a laptop that is smartly built and doesn't make you regret your purchase every time you open the lid, this is it. And again, 749 bucks. So that price makes a lot of small compromises feel very easy to live with. And I've seen a lot of laptops at this price with worse screens, half the power, and batteries that's going to tap out before lunch. So if you're shopping for a laptop under 800 bucks, it actually feels like it belongs in 2025, the Aspire 14 AI should absolutely be on your short list. So what's the most important thing for you when you look for a new laptop? Everybody is different. Is it speed? Is it battery? Is it price? Is it just please don't crash during Zoom? Uh, let me know in the comments. All the links to that you're gonna want to learn about the laptop way down in the description. Hit that like button if this helped. Maybe subscribe if you're feeling generous. Uh, but either way, I'll catch you in the next one.